The creators of Nickelodeon's Avatar The Last Airbender have taken audiences into the future with a brand new series and a whole new generation of benders. Every journey has a first step, and the path to success isn't always as easy as it seems. Join us for the first half of this exclusive look into the untold stories behind the legend. These shows are not as easy to get off the ground as you may think. I mean, I'm proud of what we wound up with, but ugh, we had to fight hard for it. So many meetings. <laughs> That's what I remember most. Stuck in a room with a bunch of animation nerds doodling on whiteboards and sticky notes. Scary. Ideas tossed out, then agreed on, then rejected, then brought back on board, then dumped again. What, the scarf? Well, the scarf was in it from day one. <laughs> Let me tell you, Scarfy here was clear with the executives. You want me? You gotta take Mako too. I owe you everything. But at least we weren't totally starting from scratch, you know. I mean, we already had an established universe and mythology. Um, the premise was obvious. <laughs> I was the next Avatar. They had to deal with it. Yeah, that line was her idea. Do you know her agent worked out a deal where she gets a royalty fee every time she says it? Yup, that's right. Show Mama the green. Well, I wanted a catchphrase too. <laughs> Instead, we settled on a contract clause that guarantees I get to have quality shipping time with all the lovely ladies on the show. <laughs> no, Marco! How could you? Aw, come on, Scarfy, chill. You know that stuff's just for image publicity. You're always gonna be my favorite co-star. Oh, oh, Marco, oh. Want to know what kind of a deal my agent negotiated for me? <laughs> I made a video of it on my smartphone. Here, let me send it to you. Here we are in my kitchen, and uh, let me show you around to my pantry, or as I call it now, the bank. Yeah, there you go. 80% of my fee paid in instant noodles. You know, when I said I didn't want to go hungry doing this job, this is not what I meant. <sighs> well, if you'll excuse me, I have to work on depositing a paycheck. When we pitched the new series, we weren't totally sure yet which age group would be best to target. I mean, we knew we still had fans from the old show, but most of them had grown up by now. Of course we knew we'd be attracting another fan base, but we wanted to make sure we respected the new, more grown-up taste of the first one. So we made this pitch video, you know, something to show upper management just a little sample of the tone we were after. When fans last saw Avatar The Last Airbender on their TVs, most were merely children in grade school. Not a care in the world. Years later, they've grown into real men. Or real women. Struggling in a mountain of student college loans. Now, more than ever, isn't it time to get back to what's really important? In all new, fast-paced, animated action series with characters you can ship and write awkward fan fiction for. It's all possible again with the legend of Korra. It'll rock you to your Korra! Meet Korra, a new crazy element bending avatar for the modern age. Now with plenty of hair. Hey! She ain't no chump bending sister. Just check out those guns! You know you love it. Got some notes back asking us to take it down a few notches. It was an 11, and I think they were shopping more for an 8 with an option to go to 10. Mwah. You do know you love it, though. Bringing the legend to life has only just begun. Coming next time. The pieces were all in place. I mean, we just had to survive filming them. Who, me? I was brought in to amp up the feminine appeal of the show. It was sorely lacking. <sighs> She said, what? Oh, well, clearly, that's what got me the lead. I guess daddy's money can't buy her everything. She said, what? 
You won't believe the things we had to do to raise money to finish this production. Ergonomic, functional, and attractive. All for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call in the next 15 minutes and receive an additional left-handed model absolutely free. Perfect for self-defense or simply bathing your room in a soothing nighttime glow. I was brought in at the 11th hour to add some real star power to this out-of-control production. What? Oh, come on! Why does everybody say I sound like Fire Lord Zuko? I'm his grandson! A totally different character! Seriously! Why? What, what do you mean you won't take noodles as currency? I had to!